Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have a little news about the dwarves and the elves. It seems that the dwarves and the elves have an alliance. And this has to do with human beings and obtaining gold from the human beings for the dwarves. Um, and one of the things that dwarves do that's difficult for human beings is they like to, they want to own the houses and the pets of human beings. They, they want to take over. They want to own the possessions of human beings for themselves and for the, the race of dwarves. And so I've been having a little trouble with the dwarves lately, much more so than the elves. The elves are mischievous, but the dwarves are very, um, I would say, you know that word ornery, sometimes they call it. Uh, they, they want what they want, you know, no matter what, they want what they want. They're very, they're very courageous and very strong and very stubborn. And so I've been coming home and I've been having talks with with the dwarves and the elves. Um, I've been coming home and they've been carrying on ceaseless palavers in my house and also messing with my cat. And uh, as if they owned my house and my cat, you know. So today I was just trying to figure out some new plan to deal with the dwarf um, like incursion it's kind of like home invasion by nature spirits. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yesterday I tried telling them that America is no longer on the gold standard and that we don't really, we Americans don't really have any gold to speak of anymore. The gold is like all used for industrial purposes and other things like that. That we don't have gold, that they have to look elsewhere for gold. And for a while that worked, but today, here they were back again, so I had to think of something new. So I tried like this, saying an affirmation firmly through my navel point energy, my willpower, over and over again. This is my house. This house is mine. This is my house. This is my house. And then my, my cat came around and I said, this is my cat, my cat Oreo. This cat is my cat, like that, over and over again. And it interrupted the flow of like the thoughts of the dwarves that had been hanging out in my, on my private property. And after a while, they got aggravated, not like, supremely aggravated, but rather disgruntled and grumpy, and they left. So I suggest assertion of willpower, no more willpower than is needed and necessary to the situation in order to get the dwarves to leave your home. 